Alrighty then. <clears throat> Look at that. I think I'm ready. Of course, at three minutes and 30 seconds in, I almost always think I'm ready. Well, I have one whole person watching. Woo! -hoo. Might even be Candy. She just sent me a message. I haven't opened it yet. Of music? Yeah, that seems to be okay. <clears throat> we shall see. I'm not getting sound on my uh, my main computer. Anybody getting sound? Ah, I didn't have mine turned up. Okay. That's better because then it doesn't loop back and drive us both crazy. Hey, I'm up to three. I'm number three. It's never dull around here. Better check my check. No dog to play with, no cat. It's lonely down here. I screwed up the lights. I have my normal lighting. I look even more wrinkly than ever. Boo hoo. Somebody send me a comment to see if I'm getting it. Oh, I'm clear to zero. Oh, there you go. All the way out to nothing. Well, hello, Facebook and all the world. David R. Day here. How are you this evening? Ah, man. It's been an interesting week. Been a lot, lots, a lot of weird stuff has happened since Tuesday. So tonight, tonight we're going to talk about Beaver Dick's Landing. We're going to talk about uh, uh, some stuff that I've done in the studio. Actually, two different sets of stuff I've done in the studio. And uh, generally, we're just going to have a nice, easy, kind of good time. So those of you who have been with me a while know that I have struggled, hello Aunt B, I have struggled to avoid cleaning my garage, <clears throat> literally for decades. Today was the day. There's a dumpster in my front yard. I hired a couple of kids from across the street to help me, and I got it about a third clean. B will like this story. Um, 
her, my brother, who she unfortunately, well, fortunately, maybe, who he, she used to be married to, um, I listed his house one time, and I needed him to clean the garage. And he told me that he got it half clean. But what I didn't know is what he got was the top half. Bottom didn't change at all. Still a mess. But I'm doing better than that. I have it uh, have filled one whole dumpster in about a half an hour. Um, I didn't plan very well. I probably should have got a bigger dumpster or, I don't know, one of those big deals. But hopefully we're going to get it all done. <laughs> so, it's like I said, I spent some time in the studio today or this weekend. And a couple of you have asked me to explain a little bit more about this. So what the top piece is, is a, it's called Schaubacher's Landing, and it is in the Grand Teton National Forest. Uh, most people take it at sunrise. I took it at sunset, and I got these great, big, beautiful, fluffy white clouds. Um, you can see the Tetons there across the top. Over the side, one of the things I really love, if you will look on the your left, all the way over, there's just a little bit of pink. So down over the river, look straight up, you can see some pink. So what I did is I have a customer who wanted something big and bold for their yard or for their front house, and um, she actually ordered this. It is two feet by six feet, which is amazing because she's only about 5'5", five, five, so it's actually taller than she is. It's almost as tall as I am. And uh, so when I do this, I print it on an inkjet printer. Some of you may have seen uh, either the video or maybe the, the piece. I printed on an inkjet printer on aluminum, and then I coat it with resin, and that's what gives it that shiny look. So there you go. That's what I did in the studio. So as you know, I've been researching my uh, book, and one of the things that I have run across is a fantastic uh, 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 book called Idaho Place Names, and it has all the weird names. Do you know that there are still in Idaho two locations that are named after black, uh, uh, after Afri African Americans, and the word it's not African-American. Um, it's just surprising to me that uh, I do not believe that they're, they're probably not on any government maps, but they're still listed as N. Gulch and N. Mountain. Kind of weird to me, surprising. But would you be tensed if I told you you couldn't find bliss? Could that make you past tense? Would you send me... To jackass meadows would you would that mean I would be up bitch crick it's by asshole you know would you send me on to out to beaver creek excuse me would you send me out to beaver dick's landing to dick shooter I might turn around at hump town head for beer bottle crossing just to avoid boring so long as it's not gross it's all a riddle Oh, good grief. All of those, all of those are places in Idaho. Hello, Miguel. Taint what? Taint pretty? I'm quite pretty, thank you. So are you. So that is my story of Idaho. I'm kind of collecting. Does anybody else have any great Boise or great Idaho names? Um, Probably won't make it into this book, but it may very well make it into the next one. Um, made a lot of projects. I hired a professional designer and editor this week. Had a Zoom call. It's bizarre. Meeting somebody, uh, almost everybody I've ever Zoomed so far has been somebody I know. Didn't know her at all. And it was wonderful. She's just fantastic. Her name is Kristen Iris. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I have sat down with my uh, niece a couple of times. She's uh, going to do some work. We actually did a Use a, a socially distanced coffee today. It's really good. So if you know me very well, you know that I do a lot of wild horse photographs. I do a lot of landscapes. I occasionally shoot a trailer. In fact, I'm going to be out uh, on Monday. I may not be on. I may not be able to do my show on Tuesday. I may very well be out still um, on that. But I don't just shoot trailers. Um, I'm a full-on commercial photographer, and I often get the chance, especially with other artists, and let me show you what I did here. 
This is the glass work of one of the art source art artists. Um, her name is Edie Barton. And look at how beautiful that is. Glass is really hard to photograph. And I can tell you that I'm very proud of the fact that over the years, um, I've got a friend whose name is uh, <coughs> Phil Vogelfield. He works at Boise Art Glass. Um, I have done uh, a lot of art glass. Um, it's not that much different than shooting aluminum for me. So, But the thing about the thing about shooting glass is it's reflective and you have to be really careful where the light comes in but if you shoot it completely flat then you lose all of its detail um, you need to have a little bit of shadow or it washes out and it just becomes flat so if you look at these two pieces it's actually a close-up of the same art same what I've done is I've backlit this. Um, I've put obviously a source of light behind it so it glows through and it just gives it an absolutely wonderful, an absolutely wonderful um, vision of the, the colors in this glass. I love the oranges and the subtle, subtle uh, yellows. Um, Edie is amazing. Her pastels are fantastic. Let's look at some more. Look at those beautiful pieces of glass. Those are glass, folks. That's not a painting. It is glass. And again, with this, looks like a sun to me. I'm not quite sure what she was working on, the, the round piece. By putting light behind it, on this piece, I actually reflected the light off of the white board. So it's even softer than the direct light. Again. It gives it a great look. And you can tell there's textures. If you will look at the little round dots, can you tell that those are raised up off the glass? If I did my job right, I, you can. You can see all the details. You can see all of the wonderfulness of this fantastic art. I really consider myself honored to be able to shoot this sort of beauty. Um, it is just beyond fantastic. I really love the depth and the colors and look at how they match those um, kind of pat myself on the back but that the lighter color it's not quite it's not quite white if you'll notice there's almost a yellow tint to it so it's very difficult to not have that just fade in with those other yellows and white and of course that gorgeous lamp same sort of thing remember earlier when I was talking about you can't wash it out well, there's obviously a light source inside of that lamp. You want to show that. You want to. You, you need to let people know that it's a lamp. But as the glass moves and in waves around the edges and along the bottom, you need to have enough light on that that you can tell that there's texture there. So there is your primer 101 on shooting, photographing great glasswork. Obviously, I'll make a plug for myself. If you're a local artist and you would like me to take your artwork and create it, um, um, to give it give it a little more oomph, a little more push than you can get with your cell phone, um, cell phones are wonderful. Uh, it's very difficult to do this sort of detailed work, especially with, uh, with something that's reflective like glass or the aluminum of a semi-trailer. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm really proud of this work. I hope Edie likes it. Um, she is maybe going to come on tonight, of course, as usual. I can't tell who's on, so it would be fantastic if she's here and she will make a comment. Um, it's Edie Martin, and I believe it is Edie Martin Glass, if you want to do that. Uh, I will I will see if I can find that and put it into the show notes. Wow. Kind of a short and sweet um, I'm having a little trouble, folks, coming up with something to talk about because I'm not really doing much. I've spent a lot of time in the studio. Uh, I'm not even really getting out and getting coffee anymore. It's uh, My life uh, has narrowed down like I think a lot of you have. I'm really not quite just back into the bunker, but I'm pretty close. I'm spending a lot of time in my own house. Oh, Edie is here. Edie, can you um, tell us what your... Uh, how people can get a hold of you or your website. I would appreciate that. If you'll notice the comments here. There you go. She liked them. 
I hadn't talked to her. A little risky to get on here and talk about work that I have not yet uh, um, heard from a client on. But I, uh, I'm really impressed. And they are for sale. If you need to, uh, if you need to look at more of them, you can find them at ten zero five. There it is. It is evmartinglass.com. Um, you can find them at. 10005, might be 1015 Main Street at the Art Source Gallery. Um, of course, you can, <laughs> there you go, brilliant Edie. Or you can call her if anybody wants to see these pieces or others. Um, uh, I may po post some others um, on my Facebook page, and I'll probably put one on my Instagram page too. So that's kind of it for me, guys. Uh, I wish I was more entertaining. I wish more was going on. I am probably going to get out not once, but twice next week. I may not be back on Tuesday. I will certainly let you know. As always, I greatly appreciate the time you spend with me on this crazy thing I do a couple of times a week. If you want to know more about me, www.davidrday.com. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me here. Hey, why don't we do this? Let's go to the real one. Mm -hmm.